Hello, um, I'm Tracy. I'm the museum's um, interpretation, so education and visitor services officer. Uh, I will have worked at the Petrie 11 years this November. My role does um, include quite a lot of interaction with students, researchers, visitors, uh, sales, admin, all those types of things. So it's quite varied. I um, help and assist um, um, students. Uh, postgraduate, undergraduates, uh, PhD, etc. So it could include retrieving objects from stores, publications, general information about the collection, quite a variety of different things. Also providing guided tours, um, specialised tours for um, groups. So for example, we have lots of art students in, we have overseas students, uh, geology, fashion, the list is endless. So we, I help and deliver uh, tours to their needs. I love the social history of the collection. I think there's been some fantastic individuals who's co who have contributed to this collection, of course, including Petrie, but wonderful individuals like Emily Edwards and the late Barbara Adams, late Dominic Montserrat, for example. The list is endless, and it's so versatile here um, that you get to experience many different things that you perhaps wouldn't in another uh, type of job. The most amazing things I've been asked to do is participate in the Fantasia. Um, so it was a big event to raise funds for the Petri and I was asked to dress up as an ancient Egyptian. So I had this wonderful linen um, tunic on and makeup and jewellery. And it was fantastic, I get, kept being called Cleopatra and stuff like that. So it was nice um, to do that and also we had a recent event, Hidden Histories, where again I got to wear the same tunic and the jewellery and the makeup. I don't have any one thing I like about it, it's, it's a combination of many different things that for me makes a complete whole. It's a joy to come to work, um, which I think is a privilege, not many people have that. So I quite like the fact you can come in, and even if you're not having a great day, you can look around, you meet people, and it kind of cheers you up. So, yeah, it's fantastic. And also, it's a fantastic collection, which should be better known. So hopefully, it will be. A former colleague, the late Barbara Abdens, um, she obviously met many people who have visited the Petrie since her, her departure. And um, some of them didn't know that she had passed away. But, you know, they said very fond things about her fond memories. And things like that are quite touching. It's quite sad, but it's also um, a nice way to remember her and all that she did and that people out there still do. So things like that, for me on a personal level, are quite um, comforting.